mud. Okay. Gotta watch out for the deer. Today is the day Vale Dale Champ is back, you guys. I am so excited to check this update out. We also have some quality of light updates in Moreland. And we also have a new item to pick up, but we gotta start off with Vale Dale Champ first. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so it's at a completely different location. It's all the way over here. Alright, here we are. Let's go check out the store, cause why not? Okay, so here is the set for, um, cause every champ now that's being redone is gonna have like their own official set. So Forest Whisperer and Elite Forest Whisperer. This actually looks really cool. I mean, I still like my Fort Penta set. I don't think, it's gonna be pretty hard to beat that. Um, but this is still cool too. But, uh, I do think my Fort Penta set. But this is probably going to be a close second, I would say. Alright, so let's go talk to Rory. Ah, that's cute. The horse has goggles on it. Cute. Ah, uh, cute, they have the little crack in the goggles. Interesting ride on tough terrain. All right, let's gear ourselves up. All right, so let's try this out, you guys. All right. Rain? Okay. Uh-oh. Alright, thunder. Alright, cool. Oh wow, this is incredibly immersive. Alright. Holy moly. Mud, okay. Gotta watch out for the deer. Mudslide, all right. was a tight turn there. Holy moly. All right. I think. Hang on. All right. Gotta come down this way. Where all the deer are prancing. Will the deer stop us? Yes. Okay. So I wanted to see that. Like if the deer would stop you. 
And they will. All right. Good to know. And there goes the bunnies. Cute. Well, that was incredibly cool and complicated. Well then, I think this might be my next favorite champ uplift for Penta. Do you want to ram practice again to speak to me while the championship is on isn't ongoing? Well then, there you go. Get XP and XP for a horse, so that's cool. All right, you guys. So we have a few quality of life updates uh, here. So the stay overnight feature is being completely removed and you won't need to pay star coins or wait a day. They will just update quests in batches. I don't know how to feel about this. This is kind of weird. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but I hope this means that they will make the quests like a little bit longer um, and not like so short. Um, so that's going to be kind of interesting. And speaking of waiting, the loading bar now has a new mini, uh, in-game feature. So if you have like a long, uh, if you're like you're doing a quest with a long wait time, like you're doing like an activity or something and waiting for something to happen, uh, it'll come up with a mini quest. I don't think I have any, uh, daily quests that offer that, so I can't really test it. Um which kind of stinks, but hopefully uh, whenever we get quests, we'll be able to play it. And mobile players, like I use my mobile phone like when I can't get on, the, on Star Stable, now have the choice of using their, uh, with their game, buttons or joystick, which will pop up for new players when learning how to ride their horse. All right, and it can be changed in the uh, settings menu. Yeah, I prefer the joystick compared to um, the buttons, I think. I don't know, I haven't played mobile in a while. I pretty much use it just to like get on real quick to like if there's something I need to do. Like stable care on my account, that's it. And the horse purchasing window got a visual upgrade to make it easier to see every horse's beautiful coat colors. So we are going to check that out. But all right, you guys, so it is truly the end of an era. Several horses that were in Fort Pinta for like a long time where you could go and buy different variations of like newer horses is now being changed. So they are moving from Moreland to, from, uh, I'm sorry, from Fort Pinta to Moreland, uh, where it will be easier for new players to find, which we are going to check out. Uh, so this spot that they have right now in Moreland isn't permanent, but meanwhile, the Yorvik ponies and halflingers have taken the advantage of the move and made their home. In and also, as you can see, the exclusive Embermane and Galaxy horse are obviously still here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see this new horse purchasing window. Okay. So it just makes like a brighter icon so that way you're like, hey, you don't have to buy this one. You can obviously like just scroll through and check out all the other ones. All right. Very cool. So let's go ahead to Moreland and check out the new, the temporary, the new temporary spot for the horses. Oh, okay. So, well, this is temporary, but for a temporary spot, this isn't half bad of an idea. All right, cute. So these are pretty much like all recent breeds of horses. We have the Icelandic, the Arabian, the Lippin's Honor, the Andreas horse, the Dartmoor pony, and the Shire. Very nice choices. All right, so last part of this update, we have a new lifetime item, which is Royal Escot Dressage Pants, which are very pretty. I love the pink uh, little detail on the side, which we are gonna check out. So go ahead, grab that. Okay, so here's what the pants look like close up. I am loving this little rose detail on the side here on the seam very cute so i approve not much to talk about other than that it will be nice to see the full set together but obviously that's going to take the whole year but that's just the way star stable does things all right you guys that is pretty much it for this week's update video i hope you guys enjoyed it i really like the veil Dub champ it's challenging it's fun it's immersive it's it's great it's everything i expect from a champ 
I know a lot of people don't like the speed boosts or anything, but it just adds to the challenge. And this is definitely challenging. Um, definitely gonna take some time to learn it. Uh, but I'm all here for it. It looks great. I, I, I'm very happy with it. Um, especially with all the animals. I think the animals are such a cool touch, uh, to it. Especially the deer running around. And yeah, I'm, I know people are gonna complain about it, but I, I think that's kind of like the whole idea is to like challenge us further in the game. And I know it's, it, it, it's a, a lot to like process and deal with and this is the direction Sir Steel is heading. And I like it. I love a challenge. So that's going to be really fun. Um, next week we have the Cecil Frances horse. God, I hope I'm saying it right because I always seem to get the horse's names wrong. Um, but hopefully I am saying it right. Uh, probably gonna bring home at least two, and I only say I'm bringing home two, because we have, um, the Equestrian Festival coming, like, well, not the week after, following week. Um, so I kinda just wanna hold off on, um, getting too many horses in case Star Stable does release something special for the Equestrian Festival. So I'm gonna hold off there. But we also have show jumping. Apparently we have a... A special show jumping a special show jumping race system uh that comes with it uh so that should be pretty fun to test out uh but yeah i'm probably only just buying uh the two uh pintos which were teased on star stables instagram if you remember um the coat colors that were selected the chestnut pinto and the cd box pinto so I'm probably only going to get those two for a while. See what Equestrian Fe Festival brings in. If the Equestrian Festival doesn't have anything I like, uh, I'll just buy another one. But at least just two of those for now. But that is it for this update video, you guys. I hope I catch you guys next week. And please let me know what you guys think of the Vale Dale Champ. So as always, you guys, remember to keep positive. Happy trails, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye!